sometimes especially when these verses about the shape of events to come occur i also see the visions the vision and the verse the passage they come almost together the vision is seen in this universal consciousness i see it presenting a scene which was which pertains to a future date or even sometimes a bygone time i see it reflected in that pool in that mirror of consciousness it passes through my mind and vanishes but the line the passage which accompanies it i retain in my memory i retain the memory of the vision also but this i retain in language and that language i then transcribe on paper then i see through it again and then again some of the last sentences some sentences some passages some words i misplace i lose memory of them and then they come back and i twice or thrice i correct my own writing till i put it in the final sheet i still am not sure if i was able to take all that came to me because the seed and these passages and these lines come so rapidly and are handed over in such a manner that uh, one is bewildered and sometimes it becomes even difficult to see or grasp or retain in memory all that has been said i miss pages lines passages when i am writing i totally forget them and there is another thing if for instance i receive a passage or a line or a poem or something and then i fail to record it i lose its memory after a day or two i must record it down because then other lines come and the the former ones they are almost obliterated and it becomes difficult for me to record them because in that state when i am in touch with this intelligence the brain is so delicate and there is such a fine communication between this consciousness and that consciousness that the normal procedures the normal mechanisms of our memory and of our writing and everything they remain in abeyance for some time it is a communication between spirit and spirit and the normal mechanisms are suspended for some time therefore if i do not put down or record what is revealed to me at a particular moment then sometimes escapes the memory and in these visions and in these writings i have seen a consistency for the last 25 years which leads me to the conclusion that a mighty intelligence is trying to apprise me of what is actually to happen i can absolutely not doubt it for the reason that i do have other prophetic visions also i mean concerned with my own life or with those of my friend and they come true for instance sometimes uh, even in dreams i see things which are confirmed that very day or the second day or say after a week i sometimes know down this a peculiar dream and i find that it is confirmed therefore i already think that my consciousness has after this awakening attained the power of looking into the past or future but not at my own will from this i conclude that those who believe that they are prophets or can prophesy or can gain occult powers are either deluding themselves or playing with fire a great intelligence takes possession of our mind and we are under its control not that it is under our control that can never be our ego has always to remain as human ego while this is a transhuman state of consciousness this gives me the impression that what is revealed to me and what i have put down in the riddle of consciousness and the shape of events to come and in other books will surely take place because i see it coming from an intelligence 
which is to me all pervading and which to me appears to be superhuman in the right sense what we know as omniscient and omnipresent which knows the past the present and the future and from this also i conclude that this higher dimension of consciousness in man is designed to guide humanity to regions and to achievements in future and to the control of energies and forces which are totally beyond our reach or even beyond our thought pandit i would like to attempt uh, a brief summary of the substance of your thought your experience and your research you were proposing for the scientific community especially that research be undertaken into a new form of energy which you describe by various terms but we can call it prana in the yogic tradition you you call it super intelligent energy which operating at the human level takes the form of a mighty biological law pervading all human activity and which is responsible for the development of the human race from the animal level to our present state and implicitly to a state beyond that a transhuman state this super intelligent energy operates both individually and collectively so that it is responsible in individuals when fully developed it is responsible for genius creativity and the summum bonum of human life enlightenment likewise in its malign or distorted forms it is responsible for mental illness and aberrations that we see taking place about us now on a social level where there is a vast ferment and unrest among the masses of humanity this is because the energy is working in the human race urging us on to a higher state of evolution but our social conditions throughout all our institutions from religion and education through politics medicine and whatever else we may talk about these institutions have gotten out of touch with the natural process that is working through us we have gone astray from the path that nature intended and because of this you see calamitous events impending which it is your purpose to reveal to the world in order to awaken humanity to what is more and more probably coming these events include nuclear disasters and natural calamities which will create widespread destruction and havoc around the globe however the result of that will not be the total extinction of the human race but rather the cleansing and purification of those poisoned elements in the human race which have tended to distort or even abort the evolutionary impulse working through the race and so you wish to call attention to the world and especially to the scientific community to direct its attention and research efforts into elucidating this comprehensive and fundamental impulse force and at the same time mechanism by which the human race evolves you have summed up the position very correctly what my own experience tells me is that there is a law of life like the law of gravity ruling all the actions all the progress and the life of mankind and that the key to this law is a mechanism in the human body for arousing the evolutionary energy to accelerate human evolution to the highest state of consciousness and disregard of this law is at the root of all the evils that we are experiencing at present